Hi everyone, it's Claire Stone with your weekly Angel and Tarot Guidance. Today is Sunday the 18th of April and today I'm going to be reading to you from Radley Valentine Angel Wisdom Tarot and Kyle Gray Keepers of the Light. So I've already shuffled the cards this morning because as you can see I am out in the woods with the dogs and the family and the first card that came out for the beginning of this week is the Page of Cups. Now I love this card, it's a beautiful card and it's indicating that at the start of this week you could be at the receiving end at some kind of offer. Now this is always a, a loving offer, it's something really nice because the pages is all about emotions. So expect to be receiving invitations um, and invites to exciting things. It could be a career opportunity, it could be a date, it could be absolutely anything. But it's something that makes you feel a bit fuzzy inside and thinks, oh yeah, I'd like some of that. So that's your first card. Then midweek, we have got the Nine of Wands. Now, this is a contrasting energy from that page. And this is where you might feel as though perhaps you're under a bit of attack or there could be strong competition around you. This card is telling you to stand up for yourself. Don't give in. Don't give in to, it could be the ego mind that's saying you're not good enough for this. Who are you to do that? Or it could be literal people and you have to defend your ground. This card is saying you are going to come out on top if you keep your head up and keep going for what you believe is true and what is right. Final card. And this is a beautiful card to go with it. The Two of Cups. So this means that whatever could have been going on midweek, the end of the week there is resolution and harmony. Now, this could go two ways. It could be linking into the page of cups at the start of the week and it could be indicating this is your hot date at the end uh, next weekend. Or it could be that if you have any arguments or disagreements midweek, then they are all resolved. So your angel guidance with these cards, because you know, we have our ups and downs in life. There's no point always just focusing on the positive cards, when the negative cards come out, the dodgy cards, there's always a great lesson within them. So what lesson, what messages and lessons can help you? So try and come from your higher self. There's a fantastic meditation that I like to do. And in the morning, I invite my higher self intelligence to work through me, to become one with me so that you are coming from that higher mind when you're becoming triggered. Also, don't feel guilty for having barriers and boundaries and saying no. We all have battles and conflicts in our lives. It's how we navigate through these um, trials. So um, I have now shuffled a few Oracle cards from Kyle Gray's deck to go with it. And the first card that came out was Bridget. And she is a passionate, fiery goddess energy not always helpful when you've got the nine of wands because it's that fire which can indicate anger someone's pushing your buttons so perfect card that came with it was saint germain karma cleansing so if you're feeling anger and emotions bubbling up within you tune into your higher mind before you go out there and get on the defense and figure out Where's this going? Who's been triggered? What archetype within me? Is it my inner child that's being frustrated by this? And then invite beautiful Saint Germain and the Violet Flame to work through you and release these old patterns so that you can stay connected to that divine higher mind within you for as long as possible. So short and sweet this week. Um, hope you have all had a fabulous weekend and remember I have got a free event on it's on the full moon and it's a womb healing activation with Archangel Haniel and everyone is invited regardless of gender or anything at all everyone is invited to receive this deep healing ceremony so head over to my website and get signed up for it it's all free lots of love